Aloha! Hello my cyberbots! So last night I watched the, a viral video on an anchor woman named Jennifer Livingston. She's upset because someone called her obese and told her she's not a good role model for young girls. So she claims she's being bullied and made an anti-bullying statement. I posted the video on my Facebook page and stated how I didn't feel she was being bullied and needed to stop crying about it and everyone gets everyone got pissed off so i decided to make this video and share and voice my opinion and views on this subject in her video she shows us an email sent to her by kenneth cross the link to her video is in the description anyway she saw this email as bullying and decided to make an anti-bullying statement on air i don't think the email written by mr cross was bullying but simply criticism uh, I know it was brutally honest and she didn't ask for it. In my opinion, the way she responded was not very professional. Now don't get all butthurt people, let me explain. She herself agreed with the contents of the email. Usually people who struggle with weight loss feel like failures because uh, they can't achieve their goals and when that happens, they get depressed. So when they get depressed, they, feel, they get into a weak state of mind. So that's why I said that. Now, don't get all butthurt and uppity on me. I understand some people have health problems and because of medications, weight issues can occur. Jennifer Livingston claims she has a thyroid problem and that's why she can't lose weight. But what came first? The bad eating habits or the thyroid problem? By the way, bad eating habits lead up to thyroid problems, in case you didn't know. The anti-bullying message that Mrs. Livingston put out was a great idea because it raises awareness against bullying. However, somewhere along the line, the meaning of the message completely changed into something different and shameful. That shameful message I'm talking about is telling people, especially children, that as long as you love yourself, it's okay to be obese. But it's never okay to be obese because it causes health problems both mentally and physically. Here's a reality check, people. If you're obese, more than likely you have bad eating habits. You're killing yourself. Parents, if you're teaching your children bad eating habits, you're killing them too. You can't convince me you love them. You can't tell me you don't have time to make healthy dinners. You can't tell me you work all the time. They are your children and you need to take care of them. Stop going to the supermarket and feeding them crap from the freezer section so they can shove in the microwave. Don't do that. If you love them, make healthy choices for you and your kids. You've got to protect them. Just like you want to protect them from bullies, you've got to protect them from obesity. That will surely kill them. I'm totally against bullying and no one deserves to be bullied. But if you want to use that as a crutch to tell people, especially children, that it's okay to be fat and it's okay to be obese, that's when it bothers me. And that's when I would take a stand. People are always saying, oh, pretty Electra, you can't say what's on your mind, you can't voice your opinion, you always have to be politically correct. People always say, you're Wonder Woman, you're a role model, you can't say stuff that's gonna hurt people. Well, guess what? Sometimes the truth hurts and people need a reality check from time to time. I consider myself a role model because I stand up for my beliefs and I encourage everyone to do that as well. Stand up for yourself. Don't be a puppet, don't be silent. I know this video is a little different, I just wanted to voice my opinion here other than on Facebook. I will see you guys this weekend with another video. Thanks for watching. Bye.